Hello Grid 12s. Welcome once again to our channel. My name is Velelini Ngosi. In today's video, we are looking at sex determination and sex linked inheritance. So this is the subtopic of genetics, life sciences, grade 12. Uh, the content of this video, I will show you the structure of a human karyotype. I will show you the difference between a male and a female karyotype. And then I will also show you how to represent genetic cross to show the inheritance of a sex. And then in sex linked inheritance, uh, I will show the example of a sex linked alleles and then sex linked disorders. And then again, I will show you how we, we determine genetic problems involving a uh, hemophobia and the color blindness disorders. So this is the content of this video. So without wasting more time, then let's get to it. So this structure that you see on your screen, it's a human karyotype. So human karyotype show us the number of chromosomes that are in each cell of a, a animal cell or of a human cell. So this is the number of chromosomes a human cell have. We have 23 uh, pairs of chromosome, and then of 23 pairs of chromosome, uh, 22 are called autosomes, while the 23th one is called gonosome. So the gonosome is a sex, it are sex chromosomes. So the function of autosomes, uh, autosomes control appearance, structure, and the functioning of the body. So this is the function of, uh, of an autosome. And then we have gonosome. Gonosome are the sex chromosomes. So sex chromosome determine the sex or the gender of an individual. So this uh, chromosomes here are the ones that determine the gender of an individual. So, and then if you see, these chromosomes are in pair. Actually, we have 46 chromosomes, but because they are in pairs, we say 23. So, chromosomes are in pair. We have chromosomes from paternal or from the father, and we have chromosomes from maternal. So, uh, for example, this uh, chromosome maybe is from uh, paternal, I will say father, and then this red one is from a uh, maternal, I'll say mother. So each pairs here are homologous chromosome. One is from father, one is from mother. These pairs, they have the same characteristics and they are equal in size. So one is from father, one is from mother, including the sex chromosome. So the, the one is from father, one is from mother. So this is the human karyotype. Every organism has a different karyotype, has a different number of chromosome, and then even the size are not uh, equal. So if you ask about human karyotype, then we must know this is the structure. It's a complete structure. And then next up, I want to show the difference between male and the female karyotype. So in male karyotype, on the sex chromosome we have Y chromosome and the X chromosome. This is male karyotype. So, and then female karyotype, we have X chromosome and the X chromosome at the sex chromosome or on, on the chromosomes. So, in female, it's X and X, and then in male, it's X and Y. So, if you can check, the sizes are not equal. So, in male, the Y, the y chromosome is very small, while the X chromosome is big. And then on the female they are large uh, x chromosome so they are large so sex chromosome are x and x in female and the sex chromosome are x and y in male so this is the difference between a male a karyotype and the female karyotype they both contains 22 autosomes which are the ones that control uh, structure and functioning of the body even in in all female and male the only difference is on the sex chromosome or the chromosomes and then these uh, cells or this they, they undergo my, my meiosis so in meiosis we know that the result of meiosis is to produce these gametes by decreasing the number of chromosomes because here we've got 46 chromosomes after meiosis has taken place we will have 23 chromosomes including in the female so the result of meiosis this is the result of meiosis in male we have a male gamete so this is a sperm cell so we have two types of sperm cell uh, one sperm cell contains 
X chromosome at the sex chromosome. So you find that there is an X chromosome and then one gametes contain Y chromosome. So we've got two types of sperm cell. And then in female gametes, we know that after ogenesis, the result is only one ovum will mature. So this matured ovum will only have X chromosome only. You will never find Y chromosome in female gametes. Only a X chromosome is found in female gametes. And then if it happens that the fertilization has taken place, and then it depends on which sperm has fuses with the, the ovum. If the sperm that fuses with the ovum has X chromosome, then they will produce a female because we will have X and X. And then if the ovum has fertilized by the gametes that has Y chromosome, then they will produce a male because we will have uh, X and Y. So this is how uh, sex has been determined or sex has been inherited. So it depends on the sperm cell that fuses with the, the ovum. And then next up is a genetic cross. So this is the one example of a genetic cross. A, a couple has a three sons and female is pregnant again. And the female is pregnant again. So by means of genetic cross, what is the percentage chance is of the couple to have a baby girl so here like we have could we have a couple a male and female which have three sons and then the female is pregnant so now we have to show the chances of the couple to have a baby girl we know that the children that are already there they have no effect of which gender will the, the baby be so we don't include them we'll only put the parents so here this is the table that we have to fill this table you must know how to draw this table by heart because during examination they won't give you this you have to know how to draw it so in our last video i show how we put it down so p1 these are the parents and then we have to write phenotype so the phenotype it's male and a female remember this the children are not included here it's only cruising male and a female so here it's a male and then a female a male is crossing with a female and the genotype and of a, of a male so here we put the sex a uh, chromosome of a male so we know that male has x and y while a female has x and then x and then this chromosome they will undergo meiosis and then as they will undergo meiosis a male will have a uh, one gamete that contain x and then one gametes that contain Y, while female uh, will have X and X. So now we go to fertilization. In fertilization, uh, in this row, we will write the gamete of a male. So we will write X and Y. And then in this column, we write the gametes of a female, which is X and X. And then now we fuse them or uh, we fertilize them. This one will fertilize this one. We end up with X and X and then this one and this one will have Y and X or X and Y. This one and this one, X and X and then Y and then X. So now uh, if you see we've got X for the genotype we have X and X and then we have X and X again. And then we have Y and X and then we have Y and X. So we have two X and X, we have two Y and X. So that is mean two boys and then two girls. So phenotype, the chances of phenotype, we have two boys and then two girls. So the chances is 50%. That is the chances of uh, having a boy or a girl. So the chances of having a girl are 50 this is 50 percent or it's one is to one is to two so the chances of having a baby girl so this is how we we solve the genetic cross involving a sex inheritance and then the next up we talk about sex linked allele so sex linked allele are the alleles that uh, uh, passes through the sex chromosomes so these are the alleles that uh, passes through the sex chromosome to their offspring so like the this one uh, the, the growing hair inside the penis so this is an allele 
uh, that uh, it's showed by the hair that are growing in the pinna and then it's a characteristic that carries on a gonosome only so it it carries by the sex chromosome and then it carries on the y chromosome and then don't forget that y chromosome only is in male so only men have these characteristics so we know that uh, the gonosome of a male is y and x and then of a female is x and x so y only is found on male so that is mean this uh, this allele will only pass through the male according to this information uh, a female is not supposed to have hair inside the peanut or grow hair grow hair in the peanut so this is the example of sex linked allele and then now we go to the sex linked disorder so in the sex linked disorder so we will focus on hemophilia and then colorblind so hemophilia is inability for blood cloth so blood cloth is the stopping of the blood if there is a bleeding so someone with, with hemophilia are not able to their blood are not able to stop as, as they bleed so they need to go to hospital so in hospital they will that's where they will get help and then color blindness is inability to tell the difference between colors so someone who is not able to tell the difference between colors this is the disorder that this passes through the sex chromosome including the hemophilia so here how we determine the hemophilia the hemophilia caused by the recessive allele on the x chromosome so this one if you check the gate gonotype if there is an x h that is mean hemophilia is there so here we've got gonotype it's x and x which contain capital letter h that is mean this one is dominating because they say this condition is visible on a recessive allele which is x and a small letter h if it's x and capital letter h it's a normal female so this disorder it's not there on their genotype and then if it x capital letter h x and small letter h what we see we will see only a normal female then the female will be normal but will be carrying the, the, the disorder so this disorder will be in their genes and then they can pass it to their offspring and then if it's x h and h and then this female will be hemophobic so because it's x small letter h x small letter h it's recessive so and then they say this condition is caused by recessive chromosomes so here we've got two chromosomes that are recessive and then the female is a uh, hemophilic uh, disorder so this disorder will be uh, expressed and then now we come to male male we know is x and y so if it's x and capital letter h so we know capital letter h is dominating so it's a normal male but if it's x and small letter h then the male is hemophilic that is mean this condition there is a high chances uh, to happen into male than in women because in male in human is only is one is to three chances and then in male is one is to two so there is a high chances uh, for this disorder to be in male than to be in human and then another uh, disorder it's a color blindness so the color blindness it's also a uh, passes by the, the sex chromosome a color blindness causes by the recessive allele on the x chromosome which is the xb so here uh, because it's recessive it has small letter b so if it's a capital letter b here this is normal female if it's xb and b it's also normal female but she's a carrier she's carrying the disorder and then she can pass it to their offspring and then if it x and b x and b it's a colorblind female because here it's a recessive x recessive and x recessive so the female will have this disorder so it will be visible and then in male if it's x and capital letter b and then it's a normal male but if it's a small x and let small letter b then he will be so this is how uh, we determine the this condition so we determine by sh seeing the recessive or the small letter on the x chromosome so this is all for this video if you have watched it to this far say thank you very much give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel uh, if you are studying good luck with your studies
Thank you very much. God bless you.